Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike LeBron 11 Low. Now as you can see it comes in the same red and white drawer style box that you get with the standard LeBron 11s. Give you a quick look at the label here. You can see it's listed as the Max LeBron 11 Low, size 9.5 US. The colorway is black black, hyper crimson and hyper cobalt. And the retail price sticker is ripped off but I believe these guys retailed for either 170 or 175 it depends on the colorway with this particular shoe so you can see you open up the drawer and on the inside all you get are the shoes themselves so I'll get these out of the box really quickly and I'll take a closer look at the LeBron 11 colorway that is kind of the first one that caught my eye I didn't dislike the shoe I thought it was a little bit too similar to the LeBron 10 low uh, but I definitely knew that I eventually did want to get a pair just was waiting for the right colorway and this ended up being the one now unfortunately this colorway pretty much sold out the day of its release so if you're interested in a pair, they may be hanging around at certain shops online, but for the most part, I think eBay is going to be your best pet, and you most likely will end up paying over retail if you go to eBay. Um, but there are other colorways available of the LeBron 11 Low that I will have in the form of Buy It Now links on the review page of my website, which you can find linked down below in the description. So this is what people are calling the black gum colorway of the LeBron 11 Low. I'm not sure if there's any actual story or nickname to this particular colorway other than black gum. That's kind of all I came across. Um, it's not a shoe that I've kind of been waiting for. I just kind of happened to catch it the morning that it released, added them to the cart, and uh, managed to get a pair. So I uh, was kind of lucky in that regard. But I have to say I'm a really big fan of this colorway. It looks really, really good on this shoe. Now, as far as the base is concerned, it's pretty much all black, as you can see. But you have lots and lots of different textures and materials and shades of black. So you have black in the midsole here, which is kind of shiny, I suppose. Uh, you have that both on the lateral and medial side. You have your fuse upper which has kind of a solid fuse with more of a matte finish here going around the toe box area and then of course right here around the heel and then your kind of open mesh fuse areas with the foam backing that has more of a shiny finish in comparison. You have your heel counter here which actually did have plastic over top. I peeled it off for the video. Um, that has a shiny finish. You have LeBron's signature right there on the back as well. Your black laces, your black mesh tongue, your shiny LeBron logo right there. The fly wire is actually black um, with little gold speckles. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then as far as this Nike swoosh here on the lateral side is concerned, it's kind of like a camo pattern, I guess. That's what I was expecting it to be just based on the few pictures that I saw online. But in person, it's almost like a like a tiger pattern or something like that where you have kind of some black, some gray, a slightly lighter gray. Just a very interesting looking Nike swoosh. It looks good, it matches the rest of the shoe, and I'm not complaining at all. And then right there on the instep, you can see you have one more shiny black Nike swoosh. Um, as far as other details on the upper are concerned, you can see you have that little bit of color pop com coming from the uh, uh, kind of heel liner, which is again no specific pattern it's kind of like a really ugly wallpaper but for whatever reason when you put it on the heel liner of a shoe it ends up looking really good so again not complaining really like this element of the shoe and then the insole as you can see is black with your lebron logo there in red moving on to the midsole again like i mentioned you have your black foam there and then your 360 degree full length air unit um, your air unit features a black tint to the bubble itself and then the interior kind of um, structure to the air unit hopefully you guys can see on camera is also black in color so it kind of matches the rest of the shoe and then to me one of my personal favorite elements of the shoe is the gum bottom so you have your gum rubber bottom um, which obviously has that signature gum color and then your uh, LeBron logo right there. Again, it's the same exact bottom we saw on the LeBron 9 lows as well as the LeBron 10 lows. I'm not sure if the LeBron 8 lows had the same pattern. They could. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but again, I hope Nike does switch it up eventually with the LeBron 12 low. Um, but again, it's kind of the same thing we've gotten. I guess it's proven. It's still, I guess, intended as a performance model. Um, but uh, again, it's more of a casual wear shoe. I don't think that people are buying the LeBron lows as a basketball shoe. Um, and in terms of comfort, the one thing that I did notice about the LeBron 11 low in comparison to the LeBron 10 is that the upper is a lot softer uh, than what we got from the 10. It has obviously a slightly different construction with the fuse with these little mesh underlay kind of pieces. And in comparison, I found them to be much more comfortable on feet. Something we'll talk about more in just a second. But overall, uh, as 
as unimpressed I was with the LeBron 11 design, I have to say that in person, it definitely is a much nicer shoe than I was expecting. Really haven't seen these in person up until ordering this particular pair. And I have to say, I'm happy with the final product overall. And given the right colorway, I think that this design can actually look really good. Leave your opinions down below in the comments. So that's pretty much it as far as the close-up details that you need to know about this colorway of the LeBron 11 Low. And move on next to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes look and of course what the sizing is like. All right, here's a look at the LeBron 11 Lowe's on feet with a pair of shorts. And I have to say, I'm really happy with how these shoes feel and also how they look. In comparison to the LeBron 10 Lowe's, I feel like the upper on this shoe is much softer, much more flexible, and because of that, much more comfortable overall. The LeBron 10 Lowe, I felt like kind of required a little bit of break in time until they started to feel comfortable. They're still not the most comfortable shoe if you ask me. Um, whereas these, like I said, feel really good from right out of the box. As far as the cushioning is concerned, for a low cut shoe, they're very, very bulky. You're pretty high off the ground and the Air Max unit is relatively stiff. So I personally don't really have uh, enough weight to myself, I feel, to really kind of feel the Air Max cushioning here. But I guess after some break in time, it will soften up a little. Um, just know that unless you have a little bit more weight to yourself, maybe 200 pounds plus, you're not going to feel much of that cushioning under your feet. Um, as far as the uh, fit and sizing is concerned, it's relatively wide. And again, because of the softer kind of fuse upper that they have here, it's going to be much more comfortable for a wide variety of foot types. I really don't feel like you need to go half a size up unless you have excessively wide feet or you just want your shoes to fit a little bit bigger. So for the most part, if you are interested in ordering a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size for the best possible fit. So that's pretty much it as far as what they look like on feet with a pair of shorts. Move on next to what they look like on feet with a pair of pants. All right, here's a look at the LeBron 11 Lowe's on feet with a pair of pants. And I honestly feel like this is more of a summer shoe, but in this particular colorway, I feel like the LeBron 11 Low is best suited to be worn with a pair of pants. Um, really like how it looks. Again, it's more of a bulky shoe um, because you have that kind of all over black look with this colorway. It's just very, very rugged looking. And to me, like I said, it's better suited for a pair of pants as opposed to a pair of shorts darker color, kind of better for the winter, if you ask me. So that's pretty much it as far as how they look on feet overall. Really happy with the shoe, very comfortable, they look great, and I can't complain about the quality whatsoever. So that's pretty much it, and move on next to my final thoughts. All right guys, this is it for my review of the Nike LeBron 11 Low. This is a great shoe and an even better colorway if you ask me. I think that if you can justify the $170, $175 retail price of these or just catch them on sale, it definitely is a good buy. It's comfortable, it looks the part, the quality is there. And if you can get them in a colorway that you like, that's really all you can ask for. Like I mentioned, if you guys are interested in a pair of LeBron 11 Lows for yourself, be sure to check out the review page on my website, linked down below in the description of this video. You'll find and buy it now links to all of the currently available colorways and you also find on that review page the high quality images of this shoe that I took myself to give you a better idea as to how these actually do look in person and some of the close-up details you might not necessarily see in the online stock photos. If you enjoyed today's video and want to continue seeing more sneaker reviews on the channel of course be sure to support the video with a like that would be greatly appreciated. If you have any questions regarding the LeBron 11 Low or any suggestions for other shoes you'd like to see me bring in and feature on the channel, be sure to leave those suggestions down below in the comment section as well. Subscribe if you haven't already for more sneaker reviews, of course. All of my social media information is down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.